Okay, Jack sold 30 glasses of lemonade in five hours. Which of the following should be used to find the rate per hour of Jack's lemonade selling? So if we draw a bar graph, and this represents the 30 glasses of lemonade Jack sold in the five hours. So this is the 30 glasses of lemonade in the five hours. So if we split this up into five equal sections, what are we doing? This, right? this represents one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, and this is the five hours. And we want to know how much he sells in one of these hours. We are dividing. We're dividing 30 into five equal sections. So question D is correct. Divide 30 glasses by five hours. Next question. Trevor and his friend both work at a toy factory. If Trevor makes 23 toys per hour and his friend makes 21 toys per hour, how many toys will they have made after eight hours? So if Trevor makes 23 toys for one hour in two hours, he will have made 46. In three hours, he's going to be making 23 more, which is 69 hours, or 69 toys. Four hours, he's going to make 23 more than 69. So if we take 23, multiply it times 8, if we take one hour, multiply it times eight, we get up to eight hours. 23 times eight is 184. So this is how much Trevor makes. Trevor makes 184 toys. What about his friend? Well, his friend in one hour makes 21 toys, two hours, 42, three hours, 63, and so on. If we multiply that times eight, we go all the way up to eight toys, or eight hours. We multiply 21 times eight, 21 times eight, is 168 toys. So his friend makes 168 toys. So all together, if we add the, the amount of toys Trevor makes and his friend makes, we get 352 toys. Next question. A car travels 205 miles in five hours. Calculate the average speed the car was traveling. So if the car travels, we'll say this is zero miles, and this is 205 miles, and this is And if the bottom number line represents zero hours and five hours. So if we break this up into, again, five equal pieces, and we break this up into five equal pieces, so this would be one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. If we take 205 and divide it into five equal pieces, it will tell us how many miles each one of these would be. So let's go ahead and do that. 
205 divided by 5. 5 goes into 20 four times. And 5 goes into 5 one time. So each one of these would represent 41 miles. So this would be 41 miles, and then another 41, 2 hours, would be 82, and so on. So every hour would be 41 miles. <clears throat> Next question. On a recent trip, Sarah's car used six gallons of gasoline to travel 132 miles. At this rate, how far could her tra car travel on 14 gallons? So if we make a table, and over here we have gallons, and over here we have miles, and we know that she goes six, uses six gallons to travel 132 miles. If we could figure out how far she travels using one gallon, then we can figure out how far she travels using 14 gallons, right? So if we, if we can figure out how far she goes on one <coughs> gallon. So if we take her six gallons divided by six, that would give us one. 132 <coughs> gallons divided by six gallons. So if I divide 132 divided by 6, 6 goes into 13, 2 times 12, 1, 2, 6 goes into 12, 2 times. So 22 gallons, or 22 miles for 1 gallon. So if we take that gallon, multiply it 14 times, we take that 22 gallons, multiply it by 14. 22 times 14 is 308. 308 miles. Okay, next one. Jennifer and Margaret have to make brownies for a bake sale. Jennifer can bake a dozen brownies in 20 minutes, and Margaret can bake 15 brownies every half hour. Jennifer bakes for one hour and 40 minutes, and Margaret bakes for two hours. How many brownies do the girls have for the sale altogether? A good thing to do, or, or a good practice to get into, is to make them all one unit. So the, I think the easiest unit of measure to do here would be minutes. So if we make a table for Margaret and a table for Jennifer, we can separate this a little bit and see what it looks like. So we could say minutes and brownies. And we'll do this one for Jennifer. Jennifer can bake a dozen brownies in 20 minutes. So a dozen is 12. 12 brownies in 20 minutes. Margaret, we'll do another table for Margaret. Margaret can bake 15 brownies every half hour, and half an hour is 30 minutes. So she can bake, if we take this minutes and brownies, 15 brownies in 30 minutes. <laughs> Jennifer bakes for one hour and 40 minutes. So if we change one hour into minutes, that's 60 minutes and 40 minutes. So that's going to be 100 minutes. How many brownies is she going to make? And Margaret bakes for two hours. So if we take two hours into minutes, that is 120 minutes, 60 minutes per hour, right? So 120 minutes. 
So let's just scale this up. Let's scale this up. 20 minutes to 100 minutes is five times. So if she makes five times as many brownies, 12 times 5 is 60. And if we scale this up from 30 minutes to 120 minutes, that's four times. So if we take 15 four times, that's also 60. Okay? How many brownies do the girls sell all together? Well, Jennifer makes 60, and Margaret makes 60. 60 plus 60 is 120. Miss Logan's class is hiking. They increase their elevation by 100 feet every two minutes. What is the rate of their climbing? So a rate would be like, we want to know feet per minute. So if, she, if they go 100 feet for every two minutes, how much do they go in one minute? So the minutes we divide by two to get one minute. So 100 feet divided by two. 50 feet in one minute. So 50 feet right here, 50 feet per minute. Larry's laundromat has three washers and three dryers. Each washer and dryer set runs 10 loads a day. What is the rate of loads done at Larry's laundromat each day? <clears throat> So, three washers and three dryers, each washer and dryer set runs 10 loads. So how many sets do they have? They have three sets. They have a washer and a dryer, a washer and a dryer, and a washer and a dryer. That's three sets. Each set runs 10 loads, so that's 30 loads per day. Or, here's the actual rate, 30 loads per day. Okay, next one. If Lisa types 56 words per minute, how many words can she type per second? So if I write this as a fraction, 56 words in one minute, and I change this minutes, these minutes to seconds, that means she types 56 words in 60 seconds. How many words does she type per second? So 56 divided by 60 is 0.93 per second. But if we look in our answers, there is not a 0.93. So we could simplify this to see if it matches any one of our fractions here. So if we look for a number that goes into both 56 and 60, um, let's see, 3, no, 2, we go 26 and 30, so 2 goes into 56 23 times. And 2 goes into 60 30 times. So 23 60ths. So what number goes into 23 and 60? So if we can look at our answers, our answers are all in fraction form. They're not decimal. If we take 56 divided by 60, we could find the, the words she types per second. 
as a decimal, but that's not what any of our answers are in. So I'm just going to simplify this 56 over 60 and see if it matches any of these. So a number that goes into both 56 and 60, well that's easy, 2. 2 goes into both. So 2 goes into 56, what, 28 times? And 2 goes into 60, 30 times. And that still doesn't match any of ours. So let's go another, let's do this again. 2 goes into 28, 14 times. 2 goes into 30, 15 times. And here is our answer right here, 14 fifteenths. If a car travels a distance of 104 miles in four hours, what is the car's speed in miles per hour? So I can make a little number line. I can make a, a double number line where this is zero miles and zero hours. And at the end we have 104 miles in four hours. So if we split this up into hours, we split it up into four equal sections. So if we take 104 and divide it by four equal sections, it will tell us what each one of these is. So 104 divided by four. Four goes into 10 two times. Four goes into 24 six times. So each one of these represents 26 one hour is 26 miles. Okay, a truck has been traveling for 360 minutes. If it is moving at 56 miles per hour, find the distance it has traveled. So it is going 56 miles in one hour. All right, we have miles here, hours here. So this is 56 miles in 60 minutes, right? 60 minutes. If we go 360 minutes, how many miles does it go? So if we scale up the time, 60 minutes to 360. So how many times are we scaling this up? 360 divided by 60 is 6. So 6 times, or 60 times 6 is 360. 56 miles times 6 is 336 miles. Lindsay ran two miles in 16 minutes. If she continued to run at the same rate, how far would she have run after 28 minutes? So again, we can make a table. And we can say this is miles minutes. So two miles and 16 minutes. How far would she run? 28 minutes. Okay, so how far does she run? Let's see. We could look at how far she runs in how far or how many minutes does it take to run one mile? We would take this and divide it by two. That would be eight minutes in one mile. So if we take the minutes and divide it by eight, that would tell us the miles, right? Eight divided by eight is one mile. 16 divided by eight is two miles. 28 divided by eight
is none of those answers. Oh, wait, it might be 3.5. Okay, so 28 divided by 8. 8 goes in 23. It's 24. 4. 3.5. Yeah, 3.5 miles. Rachel drove 320 miles at a rate of 50 miles per hour. How long did it take her to drive that distance? I always like to make tables. 50 miles, 50 miles in one hour. Whoops, yeah. So we have hours over here, miles over here. So if she goes 320 miles, how many hours? So 50 times what number is 320? 50 times what number is 320? We're just going to scale this up, and then we'll scale this up. 50 times, well, let's do 320 divided by 50. 320 divided by 50 is 6.4. So if we take 1 times 6.4, we get 6.4. So it took her 6.4 hours. Samantha makes her own soap and sells it at craft markets. She can make 15 bars of soap in three hours. If she works for six hours every Saturday for four Saturdays, how many bars of soap will she have? That is a lot of numbers. Okay. Samantha makes her own soap, sells it. She can make 15 bars of soap in three hours. So I need to write a little picture here. Soap hours. She makes 15 bars of soap in three hours. If she works for six hours every Saturday for four Saturdays. So if she works for six hours, how many bars of soap? Since we're doubling the hours, we're gonna double the bars of soap. So 15 times two, she can make 30 bars of soap in six hours. And if she does that four Saturdays, four times, four times 30 bars of soap is 120 bars. 30 times four is 120. Tony drove his car from his house in San Jose to his uncle's house in Junction Springs. The trip was 370.5 miles and took Tony six and a half hours. What was Tony's average speed on the trip? So we want to know how many miles did he go in one hour? Because all these answers are miles per hour, which means how many miles in one hour. So we want this ratio of 370 miles for six hours to equal this ratio here. 370.5 miles 6.5 hours. So we could just divide, right? If we want to find a unit rate, we just divide 370.5 divided by 6.5, 370.5 divided by 6.5 is 57. 57 miles, 57 miles per hour. The Brown family just got a 15 year home loan. At the end of the 15 years, they will have made a total of $428,400 in loan payments. Assuming their monthly loan payment is always the same amount, how much will they pay each month? So how many months 
or in 15 years. 15 years times 12 months is 180 months. So 428,400 divided by 180. I am going to say 180 goes into 428 two times. So that's 360. So 8. Six, four. So that is going to be what four? No, 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 no. It'll have to be three. Zero. Three times eight is twenty four. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, 4, 2, 124, so 2,300, can't go in there, so it's going to drop down to you. Alright, so right now I'm looking at my answers. This is the only one that's 2,300 and something so far, so I'm going to try an 8 right here, see if that works. 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 1 is 8 plus, plus 6 is 14. That's too much. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 1 is 8. 14. What? Did I do something? Well, it's supposed to be a 4. There we go. Alright. 0. 2,380. Okay, Joey can ride his bike at a constant speed of 75 feet per minute. He has calculated how far he will ride after 5 minutes, 9 minutes, and 14 minutes. Which of the following distances did Joey calculate correctly? Select all that apply. So if he goes... He goes 75 feet in one minute. How far does he go in five minutes, nine minutes, and 14 minutes? So we're just going to scale this one up times five. 75 times five. So 375 feet in five minutes. That is correct. So let's scale this up to 9. 75 times 9. 675 feet for 9 minutes. That is correct. So let's scale this up times 14. Seventy five times fourteen. Thousand fifty. This is not correct. On Myra's family vacation, her mom drove on the highway at a constant speed of sixty miles per hour. Based on this rate, which of the following times and miles driven are correct? So she goes 
60 miles in one hour. So if we scale this up to three hours, we're multiplying times three. 60 times three is 180. That's not correct. How about if we go up to two and a half? One times 2.5, 60 times 2.5, That is correct. 45 minutes is 55 miles driven. So I'm going to change my table a little bit. Instead of hours, I'm going to make it minutes. So I'm changing the table. So instead of hours, I'm going to make it minutes. So miles and minutes. So in 60 minutes, instead of one hour, Jesus. 60 minutes, there you go, 60 miles. So in 45 minutes, so these are matching, right? 60 minutes, 60. So in one minute, she goes one mile. So in 45 minutes, 45 miles. So that is not correct. 30 minutes, 30 miles. That is correct, right? 30 minutes, 30 miles. John's little brother can ride his tricycle, tricycle at a constant speed of 100 feet every four minutes. Based on this rate, which of the following times and feet ridden are correct? Select all that apply. So I'm going to make a table again. And I'm going to have feet and minutes. So in four minutes, oops, in four minutes, goes 100 feet, so that means in one minute, so divided by four, divided by four, he goes 25 feet. So now I should be able to figure out any of these because I found the unit rate of feet per minute. So for five minutes, we're multiplying 1 times 5, 25 times 5 is 125. That's correct. 2 minutes would be 50, right? We're doubling this, so we're going to double this. 2 minutes is 50. That is not correct. 12 minutes is 350, so 12 minutes. So I'm going to take 1 times 12, 25 times 12. Three hundred. I'm going to double check that. Twenty-five times twelve, three hundred. That is not correct. Sixteen minutes. One times sixteen, twenty-five times sixteen. Thirty. That is correct. And we are done.